I rise today because I think it's important to acknowledge how this body has impacted my family and our journey, along with many others who are just like me. I don't know how many of you know this, but a few weeks ago I learned that, against all odds, I am pregnant. Many of you know that I've had kind of a rough journey with fertility. I had my first miscarriage more than 13 years ago, and I have been pregnant many times since then. Twice I was lucky enough to successfully carry to term, and I have two beautiful, healthy little boys. But two years ago, while I was campaigning for this Senate seat, I became pregnant with what we later determined was a non-viable pregnancy. It was a pregnancy that we had been trying for, and we were heartbroken over it. But now, I wish I could tell you otherwise, um, but after numerous ultrasounds and blood draws, we have determined that my pregnancy is once again not progressing and is not viable. And once again, I have scheduled an appointment to terminate my pregnancy. Certainly, pregnancy carries more risk than abortion, which is a, a very low-risk procedure. And I say this not to try to discourage people from pregnancy. I'm so glad that I accepted those risks and carried my children. I just recognize them because I think we have to be honest about the balance of risk and reward and why abortion can often be the right health care choice. I don't know how many of you have been unfortunate enough to experience a miscarriage before, but I am not interested in going through it unnecessarily. And right now, the safest and most appropriate treatment for me and the treatment that I choose is abortion. Arizonans deserve the freedom and the liberty to make those decisions for themselves. I will never try to force someone to have an abortion. And nobody should ever try to prevent me from having mine. My experiences in this space, both as a provider and as a patient, have led me to believe that this legislature has failed the people of Arizona in the laws that restrict and dictate abortion and in the resources that it cuts and strangles and denies at every opportunity 